Greetings everyone, it's your super YouTubing robot, Robo Bunny. And we are here to do something a little different. You see, after playing a certain indie game I about a <laughs> about a about driver away from the zombie apocalypse and hearing a story about two people in the car, I got a little curious, so I decided to do something. I, it's something I wanted to do. I wanted to make a scary, I wanted to read out a scary story at the moment. So thanks to Reddit user whoops01, thank you for letting me read the story. And I will give out my thoughts about it after the story. Okay, here we go. My house is quite old, having been made in the late 1800s. My family and I have lived here for around seven years now, and so far, everyone in the house has experienced something unexplainable. Everybody except my brother. The kitchen is the location in the house where we usually experience something odd. The most unexplainable thing that I saw were a pair of two pale woman's legs, walking behind the walls that leads to the back door. I remember this so clearly, and I remember thinking those legs belonged to my mom. But when I reached the back door, my mom was nowhere to be seen. I told my brother about this, but he had never experienced anything paranormal in his life, therefore didn't believe me. Anyways. Our parents had left us home alone for the weekend, along with my brother's girlfriend. It was just about turning 3 a.m. and I was on the brink of falling asleep, until I heard a loud thump outside my bedroom door. It woke me up, so I got up and listened, quietly. About 20 seconds passed. Finally, my brother calls out to me from outside my door. My brother says, Hey Yaz, where are you in the house right now? And I respond with, In my room. Why? Immediately, I hear my brother bolt into his room, shouting at his girlfriend to wake up. That there, someone was in the house. He grabs the baseball bat from under his pillow, and we both run downstairs, turning on all the lights in the house. We searched the entire house, but found nothing. No one had broken in like he had originally thought, and after realizing this fact, I saw how pale he was becoming. He sat down with his arms covered in goosebumps. We asked him about what, what he saw, and this is what he told us. He was about to go downstairs to use the bathroom when suddenly he stopped. He was standing at the top of the staircase, and from that angle, you can see into the kitchen quite clearly due to the moonlight lighting up the floor and cabinets. From what he describes, he saw the black silhouette of a woman, as clear as day, standing with her back turned to him through the kitchen door. She stood there for a moment until she finally began walking across the kitchen. To the back door, disappearing behind the wall. After seeing this, he jumped back and tried to process what he had just witnessed. Apparently, the first question he asked himself after seeing this woman was, why is Yaz walking around in the dark until it hit him that it was most likely wasn't me? As I'm afraid of the dark, I always turn on the lights at night because of this. That's when he called out to me, asking where I was in the house. He was so convinced that this person was an intruder, that there was no possibility of it being related to the paranormal. But after he had checked the house and explained what he had seen, he just summed it up to, I guess I have to believe in ghosts now. Woo! Okay. That story was... very spooky. It definitely gave me... 
some hot fights from it, especially with the whole silhouette of a woman. I was getting some Lyrona or or the woman in black type of vibes. That house is definitely have something weird going on. I hope you whoops have figure out a proper way to handle it, I guess. And it's kind of interesting hearing all all these other stories about your family experiencing different paranormal. I would like to hear some of those other stories. If I was in if I was in your brother's shoes, I would definitely be be questioning everything. I would be the guy following the strange woman. Oh, who am I kidding? I'd be the guy running through my freaking bedroom. I'm not, I'm not stupid. I'm not one of those stupid people in, the, in those movies that decide to follow and get, sh get stabbed. I value my life a little bit too much. Still, it does make me wonder what would have happened if your brother did follow that woman outside. What would you have seen? That is definitely a good question. If you guys enjoyed it, let me know in the comments. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the Robo Bunny Corporation. And if you want me to do more, well, I'll make another post about giving me your scariest stories. And we'll see where we go from there. Good night, everybody. And sweet dreams. That's not filled with Freddy Krueger. Ah!